going to teach you the topic nine. That's chapter nine. Topic means ray optics and optical instruments. Ray optics and optical instruments. Okay. When we see the term optics, what comes in mind? Something related to light. Okay. How we can define the term light? Light is a form of energy. Because of presence of light only, we can visualize the things which are around us. Okay. So, when we know that light travels with a certain speed, which can be measurable with a high speed, that value remains constant. You already know that value can C is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. The speed of light in the air of vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Okay. Next, the frequency value is 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer. This range comes under the visible region of your electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. Next one. The term optics. Okay. Optics. How we can define the term? Optics is the one of the branch of physics. It deals with the nature, sources and certain effect regarding the light. Okay. Next term. The term optics can be classified into two terms. That is two types. Geometrical optics. Geometrical optics. One more. Physical optics. Geometrical optics and physical optics. In geometrical optics, we are going to represent the light in terms of ray and representation is straight line segment with arrow mark which is similar to your vector notation which you are studying in the 11th class. Okay. For screen times. Next step. And in geometrical optics, you are going to certain phenomena such as reflection, refraction, total internal reflection, etc. In case of physical optics, we are going to study the wave nature, okay, wave nature of the light. The term geometrical optics has one more name, which is also called as ray optics. Okay, this is the topic many. Geometrical optics is also called as ray optics and physical optics is called as wave optics. This is the next topic in your syllabus. Okay. Ray optics and wave optics. Then repeatedly we are using some of the terms. That is first term ray of light. Okay. Ray of light. The light travels in a straight line. Light follows the straight line path. Then we are going to say that since ray x, light ray x, ray of light. Okay? If it, it will be a single ray. If there are large number of rays, we are going to say it as B of light. Okay? Or we are going to say it as beam of light. Okay? Beam of light. That is the name of bundle of rays. Beam of light is nothing but bundle of rays. Here, bundle of rays, we can represent it in terms of three types. Okay, we can represent such bundle of rays. One is parallel beam of light. Okay, the light ray travels parallel. That is parallel beam of light. Second one, convergent Okay, it meet at a particular point from various directions. Then it is convergent beam of light. Next one more is divergent beam of light. So from one single point, the light travels in a light ray travels in a different direction. So beam of light is nothing but bundle of rays, which will be of three types: parallel beam of light, convergent beam of light, and divergent beam of light. Okay. Next concept, I am going to use the term that is medium or the name of optical medium. The medium in which light ray propagates is called as optical medium. The medium in which light ray travels 
Incident ray, reflected ray, and normal drawn 
normal problem itself is always the same thing. Okay. Next statement. When the line has drawn normal, the angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection. What's the second statement? Angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection. That is not. We can represent angle I is equal to angle R. Okay, these two are laws of reflection. First statement, incident ray, reflected ray and normal drawn to the surface. All lie in the same plane and one more statement is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Okay. So, the term reflection can be classified into two types. That is regular reflection and irregular reflection. Okay. Two types. One is regular reflection.
plane mirror, spherical mirror. Okay, you have seen the plane mirror already, you know. So when we stand in front of the mirror, or we can see, we can see the image. Okay, but it will be lateral in the inverted manner. What we can how we can say that is, if you stand in front of the mirror, when we see the image, left portion will be shifted to right and right portion will be shifted to left. Okay, so property or we can say size of image will be equal to size of object. When we stand in front of the mirror, we whether we will see the enlarged image of us? No, exactly same image. How much height will be there? That much height only we can see. Okay, size of the image will be equal to size of the object. Okay. Next, magnification term, magnification value will be equal to 1. Magnification is that thing but ratio of size of the image to that of the size of the object. In this case, size of the image and size of the object both are same. Then magnification of the plane mirror will be equal to 1. Okay. So, you have seen in your cells, if we can see the images when we sit in front of the mirror that is by arranging the plane mirrors okay if there are two mirrors if there are one mirror which is separated with a certain angle okay if there are two mirrors which angle has been say theta we can get the n number of mirrors uh, sorry n number of images that is by using the formula that is n is equal to 360 degree by theta minus 1 is one of the formula when the ratio is that is condition is that if 360 by theta this value is given okay then one more formula 